Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the cool new features of iOS 9.3 Beta 1. Now if you're interested in getting the beta for yourself, it is available to the public by Apple and that means you don't need a jailbreak and it's for free. Now I did a tutorial video showing you how to get it, how to install it. That link is in the description down below as well as on screen. But for this video, we're gonna take a look at the new features and this might help you decide if you wanna wait for the full release or if you wanna get the beta right now. Let's get started. All right, so just to show you, I do have iOS 9.3. We'll open up the settings application. We'll tap on software update. You can see it says iOS 9.3. Your software is up to date. So the first feature, which is very cool, involves the settings application. You wanna tap on where it says display and brightness. Now we have a new bar here called blue light reduction. Now the basic concept behind this feature is to help you sleep at night or get to sleep at night. And what this will do is change the color. So basically the cooler color is keeping you awake and it's going to change it to a warmer orangey color like so. Now having this color shine through the orange, it's going to allow you to fall asleep a little bit easier than the cooler color. Now you can schedule this to have it set up from sunset to sunrise and it'll automatically kind of switch over gradually throughout the day or you can set it to a custom schedule. So if you know you go to bed every day at nine, it'll turn on at nine and you can set it to turn off at say 7 a.m. when you wake up. So prior to iOS 9.3, when you opened up the notes application, you can automatically see the note. Anybody who had access to your phone could open the notes, change things, but now you can actually set passwords for it as I've done for this one up here. So if you tap on it, it'll ask you for a password to say this note is password protected. If someone tried to view it, it'll ask you to enter in the password. Now I'll be doing a full tutorial to show you how to set this up with your notes app because there's a little bit of a process to follow and how it works. But once you see it, it's very simple. The next feature is very small, but it's very important, especially if you have a limited data plan. So if you tap on settings, tap on cellular, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see Wi-Fi assist. If you use this, you'll know that there's been a lot of controversy following because it is using a lot of people's data. And in the past, like you see right here, you can't see how much data Wi-Fi Assist is using. So the update to 9.3 will allow you to see how much data your Wi-Fi Assist is using and allow you to sort of control if you want to keep it on or turn it off to save your data. 3D Touch has been given an update as well, mainly the stock applications that didn't have settings attached to it will now have settings when you use 3D Touch with them. Notably the settings application, the health application and compass, but you can check out all the stock applications for yourself and see what settings have been added. So those were the biggest changes to iOS 9.3 and if you'd like to check out all of the changes there's a link in the description that'll show you some of the less popular and less prominent changes that you should be expecting with iOS 9.3. Now again if you haven't updated to the iOS 9.3 beta you'll have to wait for the official release but if you'd like to there's a link in the description down below where I created a full tutorial to show you how to install iOS 9.3 the public beta from Apple on your own. As I said before, I'll be posting tutorial videos on how to use each of these new features. That way you can use them to their full extent. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you're notified when I post new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video.